This is Mr. Kamau at policeabuse.com. This is a recorded intake statement. Uh, sir, you had a complaint of police misconduct. Can you tell me what happened? Yes, sir. Uh, on uh, June, my name is Kenneth Reed. Uh, uh, I had a complaint against the University Police Department, uh, Officer of Jimmy Smith. Um, uh, I I'm sorry, sir. Could, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Could you say the name of the police department again and what state and city it is? Uh, yes. That'll be uh, Eudora Police Department, uh, Eudora, Arkansas. Okay. Uh, the, the officer's name is uh, Jimmy Smith. Okay. And, uh, and tell me what Officer Smith did. Okay. I, uh, well, he sprayed me now with uh, pepper spray while I was sitting in my truck. Uh, when I, I came, when I got off from work, I stopped by my cousin's house to pay uh, her nephew. And uh, Officer Jimmy Smith was parked in the yard. Her name is Faye Bates. And she asked me, uh, was I looking for James, her nephew? And I said, yeah. I said, I want to go on pen. Then Jimmy said, uh, well, my language, excuse my language, ain't no goddamn James here. Move that fucking truck. And at the time, you know, I, I had no idea he was, uh, they was upset by having an argument. So the first thing he did, he, you know, I'm looking at him, he went to his police car. He got out a small can, started shaking it. You know, I didn't know what he was getting ready to do. And because we, we never did all and nothing like that. And then all of a sudden, uh, he came back and she was on the driver's side. And he sprayed me through uh, the passenger side window. He wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second, sir. Are you telling me that this officer was visiting your, your relative on a personal job, a personal situation? Uh, yes, sir. I got all, I got, I, I, I got all kind of documents. And well, hold on. Let me make sure I understand this. So, what's, <laughs> what, what, what was your what was the woman's name again? Her name is uh, Faye Bates. Okay, Faye Bates, and she's a relative of yours. Yeah, well, they live. Uh, let's see, about maybe ten steps. I guess about ten steps from my house. Okay, so it's pretty close to your house. Well, yes, yeah, right here. Okay, right here. It's All right, right here at my house. Okay, and oh, she stays at your house. No, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I got about, maybe when I walk out my door, I can make about 15 steps, I'll be at her front door. Okay, got you. So she lives very close nearby, and you came over looking for uh, her, one of her relatives, and the officer, was, was he visiting her? Was he there on an official police call? Uh, he was visiting, visiting on a personal call. He, does he date her? Does he see her? Why, does he, why was he visiting her? Uh, he date her. He dates her. So he's yeah, at he's at her house on a visit for personal reasons, and you show up asking about a relative, and then he said, "There's no fucking what? Uh, ain't no fucking James here. Move that fucking truck. There's That's no fucking James here. Move the fucking truck." And uh, afterwards, you know, uh, where his truck was, the uh, James truck was parked there in the first place. It was there anyway. That's why I really stopped and I saw her outside. And I saw, I saw Officer Smith outside, too. But, you know, I see him over here all the time, so it didn't, it didn't really dawn on me that there wasn't nothing going on. Okay, so tell me more. What happened? Okay, I just, okay. Uh, okay, after he started shaking the can, he walked up, you know, to the uh, passing side. I had passed a set of money out the uh, driver's side, and I kind of turned back over because I know the guy. I know him anyway. And he do stuff like that, you know, try to intimidate you. Uh -huh. But I didn't know who was going to go that far. Uh -huh. And next thing I know, I turned back around, and he shot me dead in my right eye with pepper spray. It took me, for, let me see, within four minutes, by the time I stopped, it took me about four minutes to get sprayed in my eye. He sprayed you in your eyes with pepper spray. Yes, sir. While he's yes, visiting, sir. wait a minute, while he's dating your, your is she a relative of yours, you said? Uh, yes, yeah, she's my cousin. He's dating your cousin. He's at her house visiting her. You pull mm -hmm. up and ask a question that he doesn't like. He goes around, gets the pepper spray, shakes it up, and sprays it into your face. Right. Oh, well, oh hold on, hold on. <clears throat> a couple of things. Was he in a police? Mm -hmm. Was he in a police uniform? Yeah, he was in a police uniform, and he was in a police car. Okay. What color was the oh, uniform? Car. What color was the uniform? Uh, blue, light blue. Uh, shirt. Whatever they wear, you know, the badge on it, gun, and, okay. you know. Okay, and did it have that. police emblems on it and all that? Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, all that. Okay, all right. And 
were you doing anything to make him in, in fear for any reason whatsoever? Were you chasing him? Were you yelling at him? Did you do anything to provoke him? No, sir. I was sitting in my truck. <laughs> you were sitting. sitting in, you, in you, you were sitting in your truck the entire time. The whole time. So he came around and sprayed you through the passenger window. Through the passenger window while I'm still sitting in my truck. And he sprayed and you in, you in the what? eye. Yes, sir. And you know, uh, you know, uh, like I, I, I told some people, I said I know it's kind of hard to believe. I know everybody say, well, it had to be something else behind that. But you know what? After that happened, that whole week, I had to take off a week from work because of my eye. When did it? When, it when, when, when did it happen, sir? It happened on uh, June first. Okay. And have the police done an investigation? Uh, well, you know what? After he did it, uh, guess we had to turn it in. Had to report it. Who who did report it? I did. I had to go down and report it. I look. I said, man, I, I I went down to the police station first. I said, Jimmy just sprayed me in my eye with some pepper spray for something. I said, y'all need to get him down here because he don't spray me in my eye. Okay. Well, hold on. Out. Hold on, sir. Did they do anything to him? Did they fire him? Did they punish him? Uh, they suspended him for a week. They suspended him for a week, and he's back on the job. He's still back on the job. Did they offer you any sort of compensation for what happened to you? The only thing they did at the police station was call me down there. And you know what? And like I said, I might not have should have done this, but they, they kept on calling me, kept on calling me. And, okay, uh, when, okay, Wednesday, I came from the eye doctor. And I came home, my wife was like, Kenny, you got a ticket in here. That was two days later. I said, a ticket? And I kind of started laughing. I said, I can't believe this. You mean they wrote you a citation off of the incident where you were sprayed? Yeah, three days later. Three days and, after, uh, hold on, three days after the fact, they wrote a ticket. They wrote me a ticket three days after the fact. And what was the ticket for? Uh, it was... Uh, he had on that disregard in the police office. Okay, but it happened at 4.30. 4.30 to 4.15 or something like that. Okay, I had a... They, they sent an investigating officer down here because I had to go to the police station myself and report it. Because he never did call in and say he had sprayed me. Or nothing like that. Hold on. So, they, wait, wait, wait. They, this, they, they contacted you three days later with a... With a... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> with a charge of disregarding a police officer. And... Yes, sir. Do you have to appear in court on that charge? No, sir, because uh, I took that down to, well, let me see, uh, let me see, let me see, that happened Monday, Tuesday, the mayor called me down there. And he said what they were trying to do to me, it was not right. He said he wasn't going to stand for it. So he made them drop that charge. But they were stated, uh, the chief and this officer, they stated, called me to the police station. And I, okay, I guess my instincts uh, kicked in. I said, no, they trying to do something. They ain't got no business. So I'm going to tell you what I did now. It might not have been uh, legal, but what I did, I had my phone. I put my phone in my pocket, and I put it on record. And you could hear what they trying to apologize. We're well, often going to apologize to you, and uh, we're going to let bygones be bygones. And, uh, Hold on, sir. Do you have the recording? Yes, sir. I got it on my phone right now. Can you play it back for me right now? I tell you what, if you could call me at, uh, let me see, I got so much stuff on that uh, you wouldn't even believe. Well, I need to see what you have. If you have it, then let me hear it. Okay, could you call me? Okay, now I'm on my cell phone right now. Could you call me back? Okay, I'm going to uh, get on my house phone. Okay, give me the number to the house phone. I'll call you on that one. Okay, that'll be, uh, where, you know, 870-355-2285. Uh, and I'm going to get ready to go in here and get ready for it. And you would not believe what you're going to hear in a minute. Can you email me the file? Uh, let me see. How, I'll, see I'll, I'll try to see if I can do it like that. It, okay, is it, hold on. Is it, but I'll, will I be able to hear it over the phone? Okay, but I got, I got this guy saying he shouldn't have sprayed me. I got the coach saying, I mean, well, his, don't we just call him, but he a uh, chief. Uh, well, you know, you're not a criminal. And, you know, this is a, I, this is a police officer. I just want to, he's going to apologize to you. And he gonna, you know, he gonna drop the charge, you know, if you accept it. And, huh. and then well, uh, next thing you know, he said, uh, that, okay, now this, this is a uh, Wednesday. Okay, Thursday, you know, that's when they called me back over there. Then all of a sudden, I was sitting in there. He said, okay, yeah. He said because uh, I don't got some more charges. I, I went to my book and I found some more charges I could uh, ch charge with. He said 